I'm going to be talking to you about how to style up your sofa and as a stylist I can assure you there's a few simple tricks to simply rearrange the items that you've already got in your own home. So to kick off I've got this gorgeous little beauty here from sofa.com and the first thing I'm going to do with it is just sneak it away from the wall a couple of inches. You want to create a little bit of a gap around your furniture. Time and time again I see furniture like really shoved up against the walls and it doesn't really help the room have a little bit of space, it actually can help the room feel a little bit bigger, you just have a little bit of movement all the way around the edges. The next thing you want to do is get yourself a really big rug and I always say the bigger the better, it wants to be large enough that the feet of the furniture can just sit on the edge of it. And then if all your bits of furniture, the sofa, the armchairs, the coffee table, if they're all sitting on a part of the rug, what that will do is really help ground the space and really hug all that furniture together. Next up, you wanna think about your walls. And time and time again, I see this done really badly. One titchy little picture, hung too high, really isn't gonna cut it. You want to have a really large piece of artwork or a couple of huge paintings grouped together and hung not too high just above the sofa so they have some relationship with one another. Or you can create a gallery wall which is always my preferred thing to do. So I've started with something central in the middle and then I can kind of grow my collection of pictures. Voila! And you can see all of those pictures grouped together have a close relationship with the sofa, but they also just bring some of the colour and the pattern that I wanted to bring into this room up onto the wall. It's not always about decorating with bright colours. A really great stylist trick is to use a bit of symmetry. It helps to create a sense of harmony and balance in a room, especially if your taste is quite eclectic like mine. So I'm going to put a pair of lamps either side of the sofa. Now your side tables don't have to match, but they do need to be the same height, and that's all to do with the symmetry. These lamps are splendid, and they're from Pookie Lighting, and the reason why I love them so much is you can choose any colour shade. No surprise, I've gone for a really bright yellow. But I think by using bright colours in your lighting just also helps accent the room a little bit. Now I like to use a load of cushions in different sizes and different patterns, kind of clash it up a bit. So I've got this really large cushion here from GP and J Baker, that's 60 centimetres, that one. And then mix it with some smaller um, cushions and also different prints. So we've got the traditional, we've also got something really modern. This is Amelia Graham, who I'm completely loving her textiles at the moment. But then also, if you are clashing the patterns, have a bit of plain as well, just to kind of break it up. And then finally, my little favourite, little tapestry cushion from John Tadler. Now, as you can see, this is very much my look. I mean, I love a riot of pattern and colour, and there is a lot going on in here. But you'll see there's quite a strong colour story. There's yellow, there's pink, there's the blues, and they're being carried through in all the artwork and all the fabrics too, which is why it does all hang together. If you like what you've seen, I've popped down some links in the description below, but do make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel because I've got loads more inspirational and creative ideas on how I like to style an interior. Bye.